Hello students. In this video, we're going to solve an initial value problem, abbreviated IVP, I for initial, V for value, P for problem. Um, here we have an ordinary differential equation, uh, first order. It is linear because the y's appear linearly. There's no, um, it's not like y squared or y cubed or square root of y. It's not sine of y. You know, um, it's not one over y. It's just the y's appear and its derivatives appear um, with the first power, so they appear linearly. Um, the independent variable t in this case um, appears um, it appears linearly as well, but it doesn't have to it just you know appears in the equation. So this is a first order linear differential equation, and um, here we have some initial data y of zero is um, equal to uh, five. Uh, Okay, again, um, we're going to solve this by, uh, and I say again because I have another video where I do a simpler case um, where I don't have a T um, involved in the equation. Um, so if you um, need, want to see a simpler example, uh, I would recommend that you go to, um, um, uh, you looked at my playlist and you check and see. Um, I have another example where I have a constant coefficient. Um, I'm going to solve this by an um, integrating factor method. And um, here comes, uh, I'm going to rewrite the ODE and I'm going to leave some space. And the integrating factor, of course, will be the coefficient of the y. And uh, or it'll, it'll involve the coefficient of this y term here. And um, in another video called, um, where I cover something called Duhamel's principle, um, I go through the general theory of justifying why this technique works. But if you just want to know the technique, um, just follow through with the example. So here's how I come up with the integrating factor. I take the exponential of the integral of this coefficient, 3t, and I integrate the 3t. So I get 3 half t squared, and um, then I multiply every term in the ODE by that integrating factor. Then I recognize on the left-hand side, notice that if I were to take the derivative of y, of y times the integrating factor, I would get this term here, that actually simplifies because, right, um, you know, if you take the derivative of e to the 3 halves t squared, you get e to the half 3 halves t squared again, and then chain rule, um, you differentiate 3 halves t squared, so the 2 comes down, they cancel with the 3 halves, and you get 3t. Um, so notice that um, if I differentiate y times the integrating factor, I get this expression down here, but that's the left-hand side. So this left-hand side is the result of the product rule. It's another way of saying that. So I'm just going to collapse it. So I'm going to do the reverse of the product rule. And notice um, that this is just simply mu times the dependent variable. The right-hand side will just carry down. Now um, I integrate uh, every both sides uh, with respect to t. And of course, fundamental theory of calculus, if, um, you take the uh, antiderivative of a derivative, you just get um, the integrand. And um, there is a plus C here, but I'm going to collect it on the right-hand side. And then if I integrate the right-hand side, I'm going to need a U substitution. So um, notice that I have a T dt, so I'm thinking of that. So if I let U be 3 half X uh, T squared, then um, I follow through with the U substitution, and here are all the steps for that. You could just um, practice that on your own and uh, look that over, make sure that you understand that. And then um, that's what the right-hand side looks like. It looks like 8 thirds um, e to the 3 halves t squared plus, then I collect all the arbitrary constants into a single arbitrary constant. Then um, I can divide both sides by e to the 3 halves t squared. Um, now this means I'm dividing each term by e to the 3 halves t squared. And of course, if you're dividing by e to the 3 halves t squared, I just get a 1 here on the left-hand side. But dividing by e to the 3 halves t squared is the same as multiplying by e to the minus 3 halves t squared. And then, of course, e is the base. We add the exponents because it's a common base. When you add 3 to the half, 3 halves t squared minus 3 halves t squared, you get 0. e to the 0 is 1. So we're left at the 8 thirds here. And... We'll, and um, this is the uh, general solution to this ordinary differential equation. 
So if we didn't have initial data, we'd, be, we'd stop right here and that'd be the end of the problem. However, we do have initial data. We have y of zero is equal to five. So up here on the right, let's deal with that. So I rewrite my general solution. I plug in zero for t. So y of zero is equal to five. That's my initial data on the one hand. On the other hand, um, I plug in the zero for t and e to the zero is of course one. So I'm left with c. If I just do some basic arithmetic here, some algebra, I subtract eight thirds. So five minus eight thirds. Um, is uh, 15 thirds uh, minus 8 thirds and I get 7 thirds so C is 7 thirds so my solution to the initial value problem is Y equals 8 thirds plus 7 thirds E to the minus 3 halves T squared I could do a quick sanity check if I plug in 0 for T I get E to the 0 which is 1 8, th 8 plus 7 is 15 over 3 which is 5 so Y of 0 is equal to 5 and then of course if I um, plug this derivative into the left hand side it should also um, reduce to 8t that's how you could verify your solution but um, this is how you solve um, an initial value problem using um, an integrating factor method you might be wondering could we solve this with separation of variables and um, if you moved um, if 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 you're satisfied with the solution, then you can stop the video now. Um, if you're curious and wondering if you could solve this by separation of variables, um, you certainly could. It looks like you could move the 3ty over to this side, factor out the t, and then divide everything by, so you'd have dy over um, 8 minus 3y, and you just have a t on the right-hand side. So you could done it by separation of variables, but um, I chose to solve this by integrating factor method just to um, go through the exercise of um, solving this by the integrating factor method. All right, good luck.